Thank you for choosing the Canadian Sleep Consultants. First, let me commend you for taking the first steps towards better sleep, either for yourself or for your child. At this point, your sleep specialists have requested a diagnostic sleep study to assess for the potential of a sleep-related breathing disorder for yourself or your child. Let me walk you through it. This is a straightforward sleep study. In this particular test, there is one main recorder that needs to be worn around you or your child's wrist. It comes with a Velcro attachment that you can easily adjust for the right fit. It is worn around your wrist like so. It doesn't need to be tight as long as it stays in place. That should be good. The other part of the sleep recorder would be this sensor here. This part here needs to be attached to your finger. For this to be able to wrap around your finger, it needs to be held in place by this adhesive here. As you can see, there are two holes here that corresponds to the prominence on the finger sensor. The first step that you need to do is to peel off the paper covering from the adhesive. The square prominence goes into the square hole. And the other one goes into the other opening. You can see as well in here, there's a drawing for the finger. So your finger goes like this. And you can just stick it in place. This one curves around your finger like so. And you can just wrap it around. It doesn't need to be too tight. As long as it's stable and staying in place, that should be good. Now this recorder or this sensor needs to be attached to the main recorder through this port here and in this part. Once you've properly attached it, you can see that the recorder will turn on. You do not need to press any buttons here. Once it's properly attached, the recorder will start recording and it's going to record until you take it off the following morning. As I mentioned, this is a straightforward sleep study and this would be the whole setup. It only involves the recorder worn around the wrist and the finger sensors on the tip of the finger attached to the main recorder. We will also be providing you with a sleep log. In this particular log, we will ask that you record what time did your child went to bed and what time did they wake up in the morning. We need at least six to eight hours of recording that your child is actually sleeping. It doesn't need to be continuous. As long as we have a total of six to eight hours, that would give us enough data to analyze. If your child is waking up in the middle of the night and needs to go to the washroom, they can just take it with them. They don't need to unhook or detach it. If it's taking them more than half an hour to fall back to sleep, please take note of that and write that down in the sleep log provided. We can correlate the data from the sleep log and the actual recorded data and we may be able to tell you more accurately what's going on in your child's sleep.